Hi everyone, my name is Sam Roots and I'm from The Horn and I'm here with Winda, David, Nick, and James from Sol Sauvé and we're going to talk about their band for a moment. Uh, where, where are you guys originally based uh, in? Uh, Marshall, Fauquier <laughs> County. Yeah, Northern Virginia. There's more cows than people. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot more inspiration in Richmond compared oh, yeah. to I mean you can if you listen to our older albums too, you can kinda of see the inspiration from the like sick country we used to live in. What did you guys come down to Richmond? Oh my gosh. Last we were, year since then? Yeah, I've been here since like the beginning of two thousand ten, so this is like my coming up my second year of being here. But you know, like when we decided to do Magic Fly City in Richmond, you know, that really opened up our eyes to the scene, you know, that we could record here in professional quality, get what you pay for and stuff like that, but as well as, you know, out on the streets there's nothing but kids walking, you know, and they want to hear music and they like it. We saw it as a vacation our first time we came here, we lived here and recorded that city. It was surreal to us that we were here and it was happening. And to think that you know in the next you know few months we're all actually going to be living here together and yeah. really making this thing so happen bad. like yeah it, it's really happened a lot from the, you know four country kids hanging out in the woods and then Richmond's just been great because it's nothing but warm reception everywhere that we play and everywhere we go so that's why we want to move down here. and you know, that's why I went to VCU that's why you know we're here. Talk about like what you're uh, what you're writing and uh, playing right now, as opposed to a Metro Point City. Oh man, our next EP is gonna be Maniac Skies, and uh, it's awesome, man. It's just dark. It's darker than Magic Plus City, but it's, yeah. it's it's kind of dark, but has positive imagery within it. Yeah, no, it, it, it's darker sound with a very you know, like you like you just said, a very positive imagery, and like you know, it's. I it's really like feel close. like it's all mature. It's yeah, and like sad. you can tell how chill we are yeah. now because like we're in it's Richmond just and, like, and we're happy. Like we're not, you know, trying to freak out and play shows in Richmond. Like, we live in Richmond. Yeah. yeah, it's like everyone's Most chilling and all our now. music is real mature and and like, we're getting exactly the sound all four of us want to get out of it. And it's great because we've always been a live band. We haven't been the kind of band that writes all their songs and record them and then figures out how to play them live. We've done the exact opposite. We've played Play our live. songs live the feedback. tons of times, get feedback, see where you want to go, make mistakes, try new things. And then when we hit the studio, like these songs are already gold solid. to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're pretty solid. And then when they come out, like they're even, you know, it's like you, it, it just, you know, surpasses all of our expectations. Describe, uh, describe it as it shows. Describe them about both visually and musically. Oh, it's gonna be lasers. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all, you're right, it's all about the show. The lasers really add new effect to our shows ever since we got them, and we've been sort of expanding on them, you know, yeah, building so often. Like, like, light show. Started off with one LED, then we got, you know, some lasers that, you know, make shapes and stuff, and, and then fog machine, and then we, we got, got a this, bunch more LEDs. Yeah, more LEDs. <laughs> We're like, yes. Yeah. And, and we still gotta keep getting more. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I mean, it's it, we've been we feed out. off of it. You know, it makes us want to play better. So kind of like a like canvas that, that is visual crazy. and yeah, use like sound. our stage as like a canvas, and then we'll play our music in it, and it, you know, it's all gonna make this art, and we all put like, our little bits in. It, so it's pretty sweet. Keeps a good picture in their mind. Of yeah, us. a great aesthetic, yeah. awesome <laughs> atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it, might it not definitely creates the perfect atmosphere for us. To live. They might not remember our name because our name's kind of weird, but they'll remember that we're They'll remember that we had lights, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, they'll be like, Sola So What, or Sola Soleil, or, you know, say all kinds of weird stuff. Talk about, like, uh, like how you guys distribute your music, and like, what's your kind of views on, like, the like the, the way the music industry goes up? I mean, we give it all out for free, like, just, I mean, the recorded CD we give out, because a lot of people come to the shows, and I feel like, you know, I would... I, you know, I would hate it if they couldn't, if they missed out on a chance to listen to my CD because they didn't have five bucks. Looking at it as a whole show, you know, because 
that you know it's getting down to the point where a lot of bands that's all they're going to have left pretty soon is like their show. You know, I've always felt like recorded music is very much repro you know approaching the worth of zero, but you know that's just because it's expected now. We get the good recording. Now we got to get it in people's hands. You know, and I mean you can go online and buy it off iTunes if you want to download it like right now, but. When you come to the shows, you know, or if you run into me on the sidewalk or you run into one of us when we're passing out flyers, like, here you get a CD, yeah. you know, because we want you to listen to it, come, you know, find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, you know, and come to the shows, you know, and if you can legally download our stuff, more power to you. More power to you, yeah, if you want to legally download it. <laughs> yeah, and some people, people have, too. Music sharing. I know people, too, that are yeah. like, I just download it. And with all the DJs blowing up these days, man, like, I don't know about selling music online anymore. Like, you know, business models change all the time. So yeah. yeah if, you, if you come and party with us, we're not going to take any of your money. No, we don't want your money. We just want to hang out. Yeah, we want you to like our music. Saul Sove will be recording their new EP, Maniac Skies, in January of 2012, set to be released in the spring. You may download their older works, such as Magic Fly City, off their iTunes. From the Horn RVA, this has been Samuel Roots.